drive with me as I take a tour of the Summerlin zip code 89134. And that's what I'm talking about today. I'm starting right now. everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Angela O'Hare your favorite Las Vegas realtor and I'm sorry if the Sun is over I'm trying to do a drive-through tour it doesn't look like I'm getting a good picture how's it look <laughs> so I am taking a drive-through tour of Summerlin North zip code 89134 and in this zip code, we have the Hills, which is one of the original Summerlin villages that commenced in 1990, then the Hill South, and then the Trails. So we're gonna go in that order, and I hope you enjoy it. If you wanna learn more about these three villages, I have done several videos on them, or a video on each of them that you could watch. So right now, right now I'm on Lake Mead heading west. And I'm going to take a left up here, which is called Hill, um, I always forget, Hill Center. <laughs> take a left on Hill Center. Hopefully we can capture some good video and that the rest of the video will not look like I have streaks coming down from the sun. I haven't done a tour in a while just because of how hot it's been this summer. But I thought I'd get back out there and start showing you guys what these neighborhoods look like. Now the Hills Village started in, again, in 1990. It's the original Summerlin Village. It's the first village ever in Summerlin. And um, I actually like this village just because of the proximity to all the shopping that's close by. And I lived in this village for three years. I've lived in Summerlin for a total of 11 years. Always in Summerlin North. I cannot get away from the north side, northwest side of the valley. I'm addicted to the northwest side of the valley. So we're, gonna, we're going down here on Hill Center and we're gonna take a left right here on Hills Point. Hill Point, sorry. Come on people. Go, 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 go. So actually my first video that I did of Sumlin was the Hills um, community. And again, I used to live in this community. The reason I like this community is because it's super close to uh, Becker Middle School and then Loomis Elementary School. And they still have no school zone lights on and there's no school you can make sure I go slow so to the left is Becker Middle School to the right is some type of church and then to the right we're gonna pass um, a Jewish school and then we have the Hills um, Park which is right here too my kids used to love playing at that park Again, more information on my very first Summerlin video on the hills. It's a very small community. It's about 400 acres. And there's about 13 subdivisions in this particular village. And this road goes all the way to Rampart. We're gonna take it to Rampart, turn around, and then go do a loop. And that's it, that's pretty much hills village tour and then I'm going to take a tour of the hill south and then the trails
concludes our tour of the Hills Village. I told you it's a very small village, only 400 acres. But the reason I like this is because of the close proximity to the middle school and elementary school. And when my kids were younger, they were able to walk to the um, middle school. We, were, we didn't live here for elementary school. I lived in the Pueblo Summerlin Village while the kids went to elementary school. But the reason we moved over here was because of the, um, where we lived in the Pueblo Village, my daughter was zoned to go to Cimarron High School. So we decided to sell the house back in 2016 and then come over here for three years so that my daughter can go to Palo Verde High School and not go to Cimarron. If you know anything about schools in Vegas, you know that the Cimarron schools tend to be a little better than the rest of the public schools in Clark County. <laughs> so right now we're heading to the Hill South Village. And this village is a mixed-use residential village with 725 acres and this is one of the f this is actually the first custom home um, village developed in Summerlin and this is right next door to TPC Summerlin and TPC is the Tournament Players Club golf course and it's also next to the Trails Village and I like this because of all the walking you can do in these two villages, even the Trails Village, you can walk from one village to the next. Unfortunately, there's not much I can show in the Hill South Village just because of the, um, all the communities here are gated. But I really like the, the scenery here. It's very beautiful, the mature landscaping. Let's see. if I can get into the TPC. Last time I came up here it was during the onset of the C word. Oh no. You have to have gate access to get into the club. Not a member. Don't have access. Straight ahead is some office buildings and then also the Summerlin Library which is part of the Hills Village. And homes in this village are very expensive, except for there is a townhome community, which is uh, not that expensive. I've actually sold a condo or two condo townhome in this community very small village. I don't know how it's 725 acres when the other one was 400 acres, but probably if you include all the uh, business buildings as part of it. And during October, usually TPC Summerlin has the Shriners open and the, these two streets are usually packed with cars. Now with the whole C word, I don't know if they're going to have Shriners this year. Hmm. Well, it looks like they're actually getting ready for it. Usually they get ready for it on the left and you probably can't see it because my DJ Osmo action is only facing straight. But this goes all the way down to the very end. Um, there's a couple gated communities in here that's part of Summerlin South and these homes in this little sector are actually a lot more affordable. I showed a house the other day in, to the right, and it was about 315000 However, it's a lot smaller home. It's about 1,300 square feet. So people think Summerlin is not that affordable in reality. I mean, it, the houses are a little more higher. The older homes in Summerlin are a little more affordable, but it also depends on size as well. You cannot find a condo in Summerlin under 200,000 for sure. That's the terrace I sold right in there. And there's the golf course.
Okay, so now we're leaving Hill South and we're gonna be entering into the Trails Village, which is another favorite of mine. I like this village because of the shopping convenience that it has and it also has the Trails Center, Community Center and the Trails Park. Um, so let me just turn this bad boy over a little. So to the left I'm passing fa Fabulous Freddy's Car Wash and then we have the Trails Village Center which has Starbucks, Einstein Bagels, Five Banks, um, Albertsons Grocery Store, CVS, Bath and Body Works, a couple of restaurants. It's just a really nice little shopping center and it's in close proximity to the Trails Village or it's in the Trails Village actually. And then now we're going to be passing the Trails Community Center and Park which is another nice park. It has lighted softball fields, basketball court. Uh, I don't know if it has the tennis court, so I'm gonna just flip this over to the right so you can see it a little. I've done a video on this park. And then right there is a concession stand and then the Trails Park and Community Pool, which is a beautiful pool. So this village is about, it's a mixed use village, about 573 acres. Um, it has a lot of custom homes in this village as well. A lot of gated communities and the home prices are a little more here. I would say 400 and up, 400,000 and up. But I really like this village a lot. Just because it's older doesn't mean you can't find a very nice home in here. I like the older communities, especially the older Summerlin communities. This is, I think, the third or fourth village that was developed in 1993. Um, and it took a long time to develop. So when I did my Summerlin series videos, the point of those videos was to go over all the villages in order as to when they were developed. Um, kind of got tricky, and it's a lot to learn about Summerlin. So let's see. I'm getting back on Hill Point. I think the trails is pretty big. It's pretty spread out. I don't know if you can see me. And then to the right is the Adelson um, campus for Hebrew. any of my videos one reason why I love Summerlin North so much is because of the traffic there is none there's hardly any today is a Tuesday nothing it's awesome the streets are a lot wider I tell my clients every time they get in this car to pay attention to the streets up here then when you want to go down south to the or southwest Pay attention to the streets there. If you want to go to Henderson, pay attention to the streets there. There's nothing compared to this. Seriously, look. <laughs> no traffic. Even uh, Summerlin West is pretty similar too with the uh, wider streets and hardly any traffic. But again, this is probably, out of all the older villages, I like the Summerlin North, Hill South, hills and trails because of the trails village center in the middle with all the shopping conveniences the post office is super close by there's 24-hour fitness um, just a lot of amenities and you don't really have to ever leave this village to do anything because you got Albertsons right there you have a gas station you have a gym you have a post office and restaurants what more can you ask for right you got it all just in this community alone
this dell. Okay, you can go ahead. And I'm on Trailwood right now. And this street's actually gonna take me back to the Trail Village Center. And to the right are some condos. And the HOA for this community, for Summerlin North, is $50 a month, and that's it. There are no SIDS. SIDS have been paid off a long time ago. Now, if you do live in a gated community here in Summerlin, you are gonna be paying two HOA fees, which is one, the $50 Summerlin HOA fee, and two, the gated community HOA fee. Depending on the community, the price is different. So right now, I'm still on Trailwood, approaching Trail Village Center, and uh, Spring Gate is the cross street. Just for reference. And look, I'm actually stopping. <laughs> Little traffic here, but not that bad. And there's also an IHOP in the shopping center. Rachel's Kitchen, I love Rachel's Kitchen. And McDonald's, I mean, you name it, we got it all here. I love it. Egg Works. And then during 4th of July, when we have a normal 4th of July, they have the uh, Summerlin 4th of July parade here between the Hills Village and the Trails Village, so it's really nice. So now I'm gonna be getting back on Town Center and then heading out. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Hills, Hill South, and the Trails Village, part of the 89134 zip code. And also in the zip code is Sun City Summerlin, but I've already done a separate drive-through tour of Sun City Summerlin. And technically, Sun City Summerlin is a Dell Webb community. It just happens to be in the Summerlin area, so they call it Sun City Summerlin, if that makes any sense. But I'm going back through Hill South and then heading out. I hope you've enjoyed this tour. Let me know in the comments what you think of my drive-through tours and if it's helpful for you guys, uh, especially for those that you live out of state and can't make it to Vegas to see what these awesome villages are all about. My next goal eventually, hopefully sooner rather than later, is to do the 89144 zip code and then the 89135 zip code and then 189148 zip code. So 89144 zip code encompasses um, the Canyons Village, the Crossing Village, and the Arbors Village. I've already done 89138 and then 89135 zip code encompasses Red Rock Country Club, the Willows, the Gardens, um, Summerlin Center, and oh, the Mesas and the Cliffs. So that's all Summerlin South. But Summerlin South also is 89135 and 89138. So two zip codes in that village just because of how big Summerlin is getting. Anyway, I've talked enough about it. I hope you're enjoying this series my drive through series. Um, again, leave a comment what you feel about this series and what I should go over. Try to cover it all. Been super busy lately and now is my day off where I don't have to actually show houses and I'm going to enjoy myself. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend and subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn everything and anything about Las Vegas, Las Vegas neighborhoods, and real estate in Las Vegas. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one, right? Peace out, guys.